Tom, Dick from the Independent Journal. Uh, in your comments on the four uh, priorities you had, education, uh, economic opportunity, environment, and um, health, there was no mention of uh, housing as one of the priorities. Is that, uh, I know that in the last five years, has been a major uh, commitment from the Marine Community Foundation. Has that priority changed? If it hasn't, where does it fit under those four, and how much are you directing annually toward affordable housing or any other aspect of housing and lobbying? Uh, thank you. Uh, it actually, the, the simple direct answer is that, that, that to the support that we would continue to give to affordable housing would fit under economic opportunity. Our sense that uh, as, as, as an earlier uh, uh, question and statement, uh, that oftentimes this is one of the key things that, that, that a family needs and a family uh, it benefits from is to have the opportunity to, to a access affordable housing in Marin. So to the extent that we have opportunities to support those projects, it'll be uh, within our economic opportunity uh, theme. Uh, to your question about we don't fund any advocacy groups uh, at this time. Uh, we, will, we, we have committed to and continue to commit to the reputable nonprofit housing developers uh, in the, in the, that operate here in this community, uh, Eden Housing. EAH housing, uh, uh, bridge housing, those that not only de uh, design, develop, build, but continue to manage and maintain as good neighbors uh, affordable housing projects. In so when we have the opportunity to support them, they're the ones that have to develop with their local community uh, the, the, the projects. But when we see a really good project, I'll give an example. Last year, we had the, the grand opening of a, of a project in Novato on Diablo Avenue, 49 units of affordable housing for seniors. And it was a marvelous uh, opportunity to go in. It was developed by Eden Housing out of, uh, based in the East Bay, but they've done a lot of projects here, Marin, North Bay, San Francisco, and beyond. Uh, well managed, gave 49 seniors the opportunity to continue to live in this community that they helped to build. Uh, it's managed in a way that, 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 in, that engages uh, community-based organizations and, uh, for activities and facilitation uh, of, of housing. Those are the kind of projects, Dick, that we will continue to keep our eye out for. Uh, perhaps in, uh, in Marinwood, perhaps in uh, working with the Whistle Stop uh, uh, organization. But beyond that, uh, it, this is a community decision. I'm well aware that in this room and in this community, this topic is, a, is one hot topic, and I respect that. I respect the fact that the only project, the only project that we're going to be supporting in any event is a project that is well designed, well thought through, and it goes through a community planning process, and to the extent that it, it has that viability, great, we're going to support it. If not, that's not, we are not housing developers. We are not even involved in active direct uh, advocacy uh, other, than to, uh, other than to say this point clearly. We believe strongly that having a range of economic backgrounds, having a range of families, uh, having an opportunity for children of families who, who contributed and helped to build this community, have them have the opportunity to be able to live here and not be forced out because they can't afford to, be, to, 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 to rent or buy a home here. We believe strongly that Marin itself will be stronger, not just the families that, ben that might benefit, the individual families that might benefit, but the individual senior seniors like the project I just mentioned in Nevada. It's not just that they would benefit, but that we as a community, morally, economically, uh, ethically, we would benefit uh, by really well-designed, well-crafted uh, uh, projects uh, in the future. So we'll be there if, if they're there. So to this whole audience, I want to thank everyone who asked a question. I acknowledge there's so many of you that raised your hand that I didn't get to. So with a sorrowingness that we don't have another hour or so that we could go on 